Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Look at this. I had some boots there, you bitch. Where are my boots? <laughs> so this does 271 per 10 seconds, which is much better than this shitty one. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I suggest you do. Otherwise, let's get going. We've actually gathered quite a lot of loot in the dungeons we've already visited. Now, we've got a few legendary crossbows, few marvels pieces, few axes, staffs, all looking great. Now, I believe that our heroes are equipped as well as they can be. Their gear is shiny like that, which is great. And basically all the loot we have is access, so we can sell all that, since I don't believe we're gonna be returning to the town anytime soon. Maybe even ever. But before we get to that, I just need to talk to every single NPC in the town and make sure I haven't missed anything. Just simply double check that there are no side quests I might be missing, no, you know, vendors I might buy some beautiful equipment from, and so on. So far, not a single NPC in this tavern has offered me a side quest. How rude of them. But this guy trashed his room and broke some stuff last time I've seen him. Does he have a quest for me? He doesn't, he's just mental. Okay, never mind. While I run around like an idiot, I might just as well explain to you what the story is about. What has happened so far. Yes, these are strange times. So, basically, there was a caravan carrying an ancient artifact, a magical staff. It got stolen, the people got eaten, and some people weren't too happy about it. So, there I was, killing ice giants as a revenge. Didn't find the staff, so eventually I had to go further. I recruited a few people into my party, made all of them into archers, because archery in this game is surprisingly satisfying. I killed a few spiders, found some legendary gear, and eventually even killed a nasty boss. The skeleton, a storm walker, or dead walker, I forgot what his name was, but he stole the stuff and he's still escaping us. Shadow Jumper. Oh, there it is. That's the name. No one was kind enough to offer me a side quest, so here I am at the blacksmith just shopping. Anyway, I need to sell everything I've got. I have a bad feeling that in a two minutes time I'm gonna encounter another recruitable character and I'm gonna need this gear, which I'm just about to sell. Well, anyway, this for sure is for mages, as it requires intelligence. So let's sell all of this crap, and I'm just gonna leave a few strength items here, and I think I might just as well keep a single crossbow. But sadly, all of these magician shit I'm gonna sell, as well as many health potions. I don't really need all of those. And all of these mana potions, that's a waste of space. They are only good for mages and I don't have a single mage. I don't remember how much gold we had before I started this selling rampage, but it sure would have been nice to know. Now, I've also got all of these spells right here equipped in my spellbook, but since they require nature magic and combat magic, and I don't have any of these stats, I might just as well sell them too. Holy shit, look at that, 5,700 coins. And I've got those two bone crossbows. I'm gonna sell one, the other is in my backpack and I've got a third. It feels so wrong to sell this, but I think I'm gonna have to. So there, sold. Technically, I think I should be able to buy them back for the same value? That's interesting. Oh, fuck! I've accidentally sold everything, click this button, and it sold the shit in my backpack as well. Shit. Anyway, it seems like I can really buy it at the same value back. So, one crossbow, then this axe, the better one, 
then I had the, not the shield, but an armor piece. I think it required armor 13, I mean strength 13, so we can have, yeah, I think this was it. And then some armor, yeah, there it, no, 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 I mean shoes, shields, miscellaneous, no, potions, spells, armor. I had some boots there, you bitch. Where are my boots? <laughs> oh, dang it. Anyway, this goes back into my backpack. The boots weren't so great anyway, just defense one. It doesn't matter. Let's equalize our potions. So each of you has way too many potions. Let's sell a few. There, much better. Empty inventories. Exactly what I need. Now, before we head out, I would like to visit the Mages Guild. Is there anything of value that I can buy? Or oh, large health potions? No thanks. What is this? Spell books. What the fuck? Look at this. Buy value 25 freaking thousand. Oh, backpacks. Yes, please. So each of my adventurers is gonna have one backpack. That's marvelous. Basically, larger inventory for all. Now, I appreciate that inventory management is not the most fun part of a game. Anyway, let's go ahead adventuring. There is a cabin with a teleporter next to it. I discovered it last time, or maybe even the time before, since there was a large dungeon I had to first complete. But now I'm back. There it is. It's called a displacer and I have no idea where it goes or whether I can even activate it. So I'm gonna try now. Well, that was anticlimactic. It freaking doesn't work. <laughs> Very well. Anyway, let's continue to the other displacer, which I'm sure works. I know it. I've used it already. And it should bring us to the dungeon we've already been to where we kill the boss and from there we're gonna take another displacer and go to the island. So if I take a look at the map you see we are here this is the dungeon we've entered and we've gone under the sea and came out here through a displacer. So now we're gonna go there. That is where the... what was his name again? Shadow Jumper went. Now, which one of those two portals was it? Oh, shoot. Halls of the Lost or Storage Cave? I think it was this one. So, here we go. Travel through time and space. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna drop it. Now, there should be a dungeon. Let me see that. Or a darkness. Or just darkness. Well, there we go. I left quite a bit of loot right here on the ground and... It's despawned. Never fear. I'm actually glad, because otherwise I would have to take it and go sell it, because I'm a loot goblin. Also, I'm glad I didn't leave all the expensive stuff there. And there we go. A completely new dungeon. Unexplored area. Oh, fuck shitting rats. Get them. That giant rat. Okay, it might have been undead before, and nothing there. And we can break those boxes and we get a small shield straight away. I'm gonna equip it, but I don't think the characters can use it. Since they are using two-handed bows anyway. And we've got a mana potion. I think the game's... Oh, and another! Oh man, I think the game knows that these are not magicians. Or wizards. Linen? What's that? Oh, so that's useless. Cell value of 20. And we've got... What have we picked up? Oh, there. So that's... So that has a chance to block attacks. But I just really don't think that they're gonna use it. Also, I should have sold these shitting weapons. But cell value 11, cell value 14. I don't think anyone, me, is gonna mind if I toss it. Yeah, just a giant red. Not dead, not undead. Let's just kill them all. I would like to get some sunshine and actually get out of these dungeons, please. If at all possible. Because this is truly annoying and I freaking hate the rats. 
but honestly, a thousand times better than the spiders we've had before. <laughs> oh look, advanced to level 6 in range skill. Nice. And we've got a bow. Not even like enchanted bow of madness or something. Just a bow. And its average damage per 10 seconds is 208. Now we've got 169. What the fuck? And 210 and 270. So, so this bow is freaking legendary part of a cyan legendary set and it's already shitter than the first bow i found in this dungeon man but this was interesting strength 13 is required but it looks cool and we've got stairs and i see sunlight yes 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 a nice chapter 2 the island of legends and we've got some mosquitoes again flinging poop yeah this seems to be flinging poop and it's all that nice i see someone anyway where are we yeah uh, i've seen that already let's proceed oh first before i talk to you smash this crate and there's nothing uh, these vases containers some gold i hope you're not gonna miss it if i steal it oh another barrel i couldn't shoot it but look these arrows get stuck in water and there we've got him. That's our new companion. He wants us to help him find his tribe. He's a giant, basically. His ship crashed right here with mountains of gold, which he apparently lost there. So... So that's interesting. But he said the dark skeletal figure passed through here a couple hours ago. And we're after that. So, let's see who you actually are, mate. Melee 5, strength 13. I'm not gonna lie, I knew it. Which is why I have all of these weapons and shit prepared for him. So these require a lot of strength, and I knew I would be getting a character capable of equipping all of that. So this does 271 per 10 seconds, which is much better than this shitty one. Also, it gives chance to acidify and gives acid damage and some improvements to armor and health. That's great. Then we've got some armor. Look at that. You've been with us for 5 minutes and you're already shiny. What else? Is this better? 240? 270? No, it's not better, so you can keep all that. The boots are shit, defense zero, so unequipped. And that's it, let's continue. Finally, the, the waves have stopped. Oh shit, look at these boars. So many. And what the fuck, my character died already? Are you taking the piss? Oh, holy shit. I hope he's just, yeah, he's unconscious. So I really hope he doesn't die. I mean, in general, that my characters can't really die. But I do know that they can, and that it might hurt a lot if they do. Oh, leather boots. We've got leather boots already. There you go, my man. Equip them, defense one. There's something big right there. Oh, many things. Chompers. I have no idea what these are, but they do look like Pokemon. Anyway, let's kill them all. It shouldn't be such a problem, I think. And I believe it would be best if this was the party leader so he would be in the front can i have a formation where he's in the front i don't think i can but i would love to no 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 it's the main character always in the front which is a shame actually oh leather gloves look at that also requires strength 13 so let's equip it because it gives defense three that's pretty good. Run for it. Yeah. Kill them all. And keep attacking. Because he's spitting poo at us. Or acid. You know. I don't care. <laughs> now let's just keep going. And what are these? Jungle slingers. Wow, they've got a lot of gold. Yes. Please let me find more of these. <laughs> Some more crates we can smash. 41 gold and anything else i was kind of expecting a mana potion to be honest <laughs> oh well 
We can't all get what we want. So let's deal with those nuggets. Machomps looking shits. I'm just watching the health of my characters. And yep, yeah, one of them is pretty low. But we've got more range skill and advancement in dexterity. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna get ambushed here. And yeah, well, just mosquitoes. All right, never mind. Easily taken care of. And some more machomps. And I can see the... What the fuck? What is this? Retreat. And there are the poison and stick nuggets again. Yep, yeah, it hurts a lot. So let's attack those first. And now for the vines. I mean, that's some nasty shit. I had to drink a few potions as well. That's quite annoying. And what have we picked up? This staff. That's useless. And this thingy. Which is the same as the one we've got before. Okay. Some more boars. Those killed me originally. Yeah, again five of them. Why not? Why not? Oh, that already? Nice. I see more crates. Let me open them. In peace, please. Never mind. We're gonna fight for it. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That was really close. Almost died again. These are really strong jungle bastards. More mana potions. Nice. That was sarcasm. I don't need more mana. I don't need any mana. Another increase in dexterity. That's great. At this rate, I'm gonna be able to equip any bow I want. However, I don't have any bows I could equip. Oh, nice. Level 6 melee skill. That's great. Oh, what else is there? I had to drink another potion. And there are more matchomps. It's getting pretty difficult since basically in every fight I have to use a couple of health potions and once the fight is over I collect the one or two health potions the enemies have dropped. So it's kind of balanced but not the way I'd like it to. Yep, there had to drink another potion but we've this time only got some mana potions and the fight is still not over. Oh nice, level 7 range skill. We are leveling up fast. Give it a shot. Ooh, hoo, hoo. What's this? What the shit? What is this? Should I be worried? Could this maybe restore my mana? And I can't tell because I don't use any. Where do I go now? Oh, look, there's a cave. I totally missed it. And I think that's the only way we can go. Yeah, still those Pokemon. So at least no other scary or ugly creatures for us to fight right away. and another advancement range skill level six that's just so great and more strength for the giant lovely now this honestly wouldn't be dungeon siege without dungeons now would it continue through this passage and we're outside again oh shit that's an ambush if i've ever seen one Almost died again, and they are dead. Well, that was quick. They have virtually no health, but they are really strong, especially with these poison spears. And we're going straight back in. Ho oh, oh, ho, five more boars. Let's slowly approach. Don't provoke them all at once. Never mind, they're freaking here. More increase in dexterity. Now we are getting many strength weapons, but they're all basically shit. And this one we've got equipped is still the best. Now we've got some gloves as well. That's defense too, but everyone has gloves. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we don't actually need anything. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Look at this. Where is it? Oh, here. Small shield, defense too. Some chance to block melee attacks and ranged attacks. I really think that this is the only person who can actually use it. And if you take a look, he actually has it equipped now. Visibly, that is. As you wish. I should have done that a long time ago. Oh, nice. Look at all those items we got from that box. Now, let's examine them. Boots requires strength 15. That's insanely good. What else? Anything good? I don't think so. Yeah, the rest is pretty much shit. Yeah. All right, so, so all of that is shit, except the boots, which require strength 15, and he's got 14 and something. So we should be able to get him to strength 15 and actually 
get him to wear these boots pretty soon. Oh, look. A new biome, if I can call it that. New part of the map, at least. And what well, seems to be new monsters, maybe. So where are we, actually? Just kill the monster so I can look at the map. Come on. There we go. Oh, man. Just stop spawning monsters. I want to look at the map in peace. Holy shit. Just stop it for a second. Nice. Finally. So, just hold on. What? That's it? 30 minutes for this piece of... Okay. Well, anyway, I think we've covered a lot of ground. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. And we're gonna continue next time. Hopefully, finally, at least getting a glimpse of the... Of the... Hang on. What? Where is it? Okay, we need to speak to someone. Shadow Jumper, I remember. Glimpse of the Shadow Jumper. Alright, but that's for the next time.